sunny day. So instead of like being like this all day, I think I'll put my shades on. Oh, oh didn't go as smooth as I thought. Hold on. Boom. So it has literally been 90 degrees, 93 degrees. You know, low is like 89. Today is 77. This morning it was 53. But fall is this weekend. And when you're down south areas or in areas where it is like wishy-washy with the weather like this, you're used to this, you know. But yeah. So I am leaving from my apartment complex and I was going to go in the car, but I was like, look, like, no, how about you do a little stroll down the street instead of, you know, being lazy and adding more pollution to the air. So today I'm going to take a stroll down to Target and Dollar Tree. I'm going to check Dollar Tree first because <laughs> save. So <laughs> I'm going to check Dollar Tree first, but I was like, let me just take you guys along the journey because the reason why I'm doing all of this is because I have a day where um, it's pretty slow today. I sold my bike off of Let Go. This isn't, you know, paid advertisement for Let Go, but Let Go is awesome. Um, so I sold my bike and I was like, you know what? I made a little money for the day. I'm about to chill today, like for real. So I been I looked in the fridge and stuff and y'all know I like to use my groceries to the T to the last little bit if you don't know now you know okay first of all <laughs> uh what's up guys it's naturally me <laughs> didn't do any kind of introduction wow okay but yeah anyway so it's naturally be Bria Ashley back with another video go ahead and subscribe if you haven't joined the family already you want to because I got some crazy stuff coming up but anyway back to the story I'm walking to the store because I had I looked in my fridge and I was like girl what are you about to eat so there was some half of like a jar of marinara sauce um, in the freezer there was some cauliflower rice you know basically shredded cauliflower and um, I have like some peppers left over that I could cut up some spinach and I have some cheese. I was like, I'm about to make a cauliflower pizza because I've been seeing that. People literally make pizza out of cauliflower and I'm really just not trying to eat as much bread these days like or bread at all if I can stand it. So if you hadn't already, look at my last video that I posted because I show you how to make pancakes out of straight banana, banana and eggs. So today I'm gonna show y'all how to make a cauliflower pizza so I'll update you guys once I get back to the store or in store I'm gonna just turn this into a whole little vlog day okay so yeah I'm totally not safe they don't have um, a sidewalk for your girl right now so I'm in the bike lane and if somebody hits me your girl's a millionaire <laughs> but I'm done I'll see y'all when I get to the store wow you want to know what I did I totally forgot to record in-store action. I only went to Dollar Tree. I'll show y'all what I got when I get in the house. Okay, for video recording recording purposes, I have to close these blinds, but the light. We are back in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you what I got from... So I'm trying to stand in front of the glare, but I'm gonna show you what I got from Dollar Tree. The only thing I got was parchment paper. Dollar Tree ran of parchment paper, some olives, some black olives in a can, so bad, but whatever. I just wanted black olives and all I have in the fridge are um, the green olives. Um, and then I got some jarred mushrooms because I only wanted to spend, what, $4. Um, so yeah. I'm going to cut up some peppers, which are already cut up here, orange and red peppers. Um, the other ingredients that I will be adding is that leftover marinara, spinach, and says the Nico's crumbled feta cheese. I, only want, I want it to be like a real potent, like cheesy flavor, so... I'm excited. Oh, can you see? Oh, oh, 
right. Well, my shirt says loving, loving Jesus, <laughs> changing the world. Need I say more? We're gonna be making cauliflower pizza in my strainer here. <laughs> I have some cauliflower. Rice cauliflower that I got is shown here. I got it from Aldi's. You know their their brands like when you see it. Cauliflower does not smell good, by the way. So don't be like, oh, if you haven't smelled it. If you know, you know. But anyway, so I got rice cauliflower, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Obviously, it was in a bag, so it was frozen. It would be best to get, like, a big thing of cauliflower and then just kind of grate it and don't use the stems for this. But if you're like me, this is what was in my freezer, and I was like, why haven't I used this? Let's make something out of it, and I want some pizza. Like, I want some pizza. So. Okay. It's still very wet, but I've had it in um, this drainer for a minute now. So, I'm going to, like, I'm just going to probably squeeze out the excess water using a rag. A dish rag will work. I'm just gonna literally like probably like flip this thing over with it in there and like squeeze all of the water out of it and, and add one egg and cheese so I'm gonna put up on the screen right now what all you need you need one egg you need rice cauliflower you need um, and you could do like three cups of rice cauliflower, it depends. I really am not even measuring, I should measure. Shredded mozzarella cheese is what a lot of people use. I'm using shredded feta. All of it melts together. The rest is up to your discretion and what you want to put on your cauliflower pizza. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and set my oven temperature to 400. One egg, I'm gonna get a spoon, I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm gonna whisk my egg in the bowl. Let's go ahead and try to strain this. I'm gonna take this bowl, sit it here, pour all of my cauliflower in. So this is what <gasps> this is what was left of the cauliflower after straining it. So I'm just going to pour it in here. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna mix it in with the egg. Cheese me, please. Wow. So this is the Nico's crumble feta cheese. It does say that it melts beautifully in, in cooked dishes like lasagna and macaroni and cheese. Mm. Not too much. paper my mixture all mixed up got some cheese in there going to dump it all out so I'm making it into a ball I hope y'all can see I'm making it into a ball and then I'm just going to mush it out like a pizza 
like a pizza. So the important thing with this pizza is to ensure that the edges are still pretty thick. So I'm going to really make sure. This is going to be a personal pizza, so I'm excited. All right, so this is my personal pan pizza on my parchment paper. You can see that the edges are pretty thick. And now we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, now, now I'm gonna get together. This is that piece that fell on the floor. For all y'all that thought I actually put it in my stuff, you nasty, because you would have if you thought I did, and I didn't. Peppers cut up. Now I'm gonna drain these black olives. What the heck? And I'm just gonna cut them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Wow, they're good. Mmm. Y'all, I'm gonna get some mushrooms. It's probably gonna get a couple. My mushrooms are a little wet. I don't want them to be wet, so. Mushrooms. Probably like that much. Pasta sauce, um, but I'm gonna have spinach, I'm gonna have mushrooms, red and orange peppers, and I'm going to have some olives. Mm. It's cooking. But wow, look. I got pizza crust. So I wanted it to get nice and brown. It's still a little moist at the bottom. So tall. So since it's still a little moist, I'm gonna put it on a new piece of parchment paper. But you see like, it's solid. And I'm gonna put it back in the oven for maybe like, um. All right y'all, so this is what we have so far. Y'all, I'm too hyped. Look at this, look at this. Topping time, marinara. That's what it looks like without the cheese. Mexican and feta.
set an alarm for 10 minutes so I can check on it definitely actually so let's see what what it's looking like y'all it smells so good ah I made a pizza with cauliflower <laughs> I'm too light so you see you want to let the edges kind of get brown oh I burned myself but not like black so this is like perfect edges truly honestly truly um try to turn the light up here so yeah like i'm gonna cut it y'all know i can't cut with one hand A lot of ingredients. Oh, this cheese. Anyway, this is a finished product. It looks amazing. Like, oh my gosh, let me see. Mmm. It's so good. So, y'all, I gotta go because I'm about to eat this, but we got a winner <laughs> with no bread. A winner with no bread. <laughs> Until next <laughs> so, pop out with your recipes. Let me know if you want to see a new recipe. Um, like I said before, if you haven't looked at my banana pancakes, a pancake made out of totally bananas, like just bananas, um, watch that next turn on your post notifications that's the little bell ring my bell love y'all see you next time thanks for watching again make sure you check out more videos on my channel and subscribe <laughs> don't play yourself pop out